Alrighty, so what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, today we're gonna take down, try, or at least try to take down the original Castlevania. Now, I've only beaten this game once, and it was during COVID out of complete boredom, so um, I have not played this game since, but um, the thing about Castlevania, the original Castlevania at least, is that even though there's unlimited continues, most attempts I, tr I have of beating this game do not last past the Grim Reaper because the time I beat it during COVID was the only time I'd ever beaten the Grim Reaper. So, yeah, the run will be smooth at least until I think we get to stage five because it's six levels, but it's one of the hardest games in the NES. So, um, depending on your skill level, you can beat this in either 20 minutes or a few hours. But, um... I don't know. I do like Castlevania, let's just say, but, uh, get this started, but, uh, so, basically, if I beat this too quickly, I'll move on to a different NES game, let's just say, but, uh, wait, is there no music? That's weird. The music isn't playing. Hold on, let me reset this. So fucking weird the music isn't playing, but uh, yeah, if you can tell, I'm not playing this on an NES cartridge, but uh, yeah, it's so weird the music isn't playing. There we go. Yeah, it was so weird the music wasn't playing at one time, so uh, yeah, let's actually play Castlevania proper this time. Yeah, um, I don't know. I've never seen that before where the music doesn't play on the first stage. But as far as this is when it's an iconic song like this. Anyway, so I apologize if anyone's going to be in the chat this stream. I don't usually get much chat participation, but uh, let's just say when it comes to looking at the stream, there's gonna be it's going to be to a minimum um, this stream. And uh, basically... Um, Castlevania is basically a game that requires full concentration, so, um, I'll read, like, follow alerts if I get those, but, uh, let's just say, um, we we'll have to find a safe spot before I, like, edit the leaderboard or anything, right? I might have to do, I'm, if I were to edit the leaderboard, I might have to do it, like, in between levels, but anyway, so, um, this is the, uh, stopwatch, they basically, um, Basically, it costs five hearts. Now, your hearts are, if you're wondering why we're collecting hearts, hearts are basically ammunition in the Castlevania series. They're not like restoring your health like they are in Zelda. So like um, some weapons use more hearts than others. Like if you want to get the use, the stopwatch uses like five hearts. And these are the way you actually restore your health, the pork chops. I think they're officially called, I think, I think according to the manual, they're pork chops, but I used to think they were chicken legs, I don't know. And actually, uh, I did not grow up in the NES era, so the first time I actually played this was when it came out, in the, was when it was on the Wii Virtual Console, so, um, yeah, I always had kind of a fascination with, uh, with, uh, games from, like, uh, prior decades, let's just say, so, uh, Yeah, stage one and two, I'd say, um, are pretty easy in Castlevania, let's just say. I'd say once it gets to, like, stage three, it's a spike difficulty. This is the giant bat, which, um, maybe Dracula, which is actually not Dracula, but we killed him no problem. The real challenge is when we're gonna get to, uh, stage five. Let's just say. That's going to be the real challenge. The game doesn't get that hard until you get to the later stages. Because I could, I could probably whip, I could probably whip through the uh, first few levels and uh, have a hard time with stage five, let's just say. Because believe it or not, if you're a skilled enough player, you can beat this game in like 20 minutes. Same thing with Contra, you can beat that game in 20 minutes. I'm 
Anyway, so uh, get rid of the knights. With the with the uh, upgraded whip, they take like uh, two hits. Like um, we, what we have is the uh, boomerang. I used to think it was the cross, but it's actually called the boomerang. The cross is actually a different thing that gets rid of enemies. But uh, right, we're not getting the dagger. Do not get in any way, shape, or form get the dagger because that's the worst weapon in the whole game. I can you I could probably beat the Medusa head with just the uh, boomerang. Yeah, there's the uh, Medusa. The boss is a giant Medusa head, but uh, oh shit! Well, that's first death. Oh dear God. I died on the second level. This this one's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, sometimes the Medusa heads are kinda... One thing that makes this game particularly annoying is that every time you get hit, you get knocked back. So if you get hit next to a pit, there's a good chance you'll die. It's pretty much a common staple in the 2D Castle, the Castlevania games and uh... Let's just say it's not fun, let's just say. It's also the same problem with Ninja Gaiden. That game also knocks you back. We got past the Medusa heads, at least. If I can get like a Holy Water, I think you can get a Holy Water at some point in this level. The Holy Water is the most OP weapon in the whole game. Oh, I missed the platform, but uh, if you can get the Holy Water, you can tear some shit up, let's just say. I almost fell. I thought I was gonna fall in a bit left. Let's just say Castlevania one's jumping controls aren't really the best. Yeah, you can whip the Medusa heads if you time it right. Also, the later you get in stages, the less hits you're able to take for dying. Like in stage five or in six, you can only get like four hits and you're dead. But um, be a little careful because uh, those those things are instant death. Oh shit, okay, good. I always get a little anxiety because like those spike things are instant death. And then you have to crouch after the second one. But I've done this stage before. This stage, stage one and two isn't really too hard, let's just say. It's mainly like stage three where it, it takes a little step up in difficulty. Oh, looks like we're gonna um, use the stopwatch on the giant Medusa head and just sp and just uh, spam whip. Spam the whip. Okay, use that. And Medusa head just respawn because it's Castlevania. Believe it or not, I don't, I can beat Castlevania. I've beaten Castlevania three multiple times, but to be fair, I can only beat the Cypher path in that game. I can't beat the Alucard path. All right, there we go. I guess you're the one, I guess Medusa's the one turned to stone instead, but, um, there we go. The other easy way to kill the Medusa head is with, a uh, holy water. Alrighty, so stage three is when Castlevania starts to take a step up in difficulty, let's just say. Okay, we're gonna keep the holy water all cost. If if you can keep the holy water for as long as possible, you'll fare really well in Castlevania. But the problem is if you die, you lose the weapon, so. Yeah, these are hunchbacks and uh, they look like flea men. I actually got an extra life because I got enough points, but um, if you can get enough points, you can get an extra life. Doesn't I guess it doesn't really... I, I mean, there are unlimited continues, but the problem with that is... The, the only problem is that if you continue, you have to restart the beginning of the level. Oh, shit. No! Okay, I almost died. I thought I was going to die right there. This is also the stage where, like, when you get hit, you're gonna start taking more damage. Like, I took, like, three bars. Like, when I got hit, I took three bars of health. All right, let's just avoid any other weapon aside from, okay, Medusa heads. Get away from the Medusa heads. I'd say 
the Medusa heads are more annoying in other some parts than others. Like we're gonna get, there's gonna be a part in stage five that's particularly annoying with the Medusa heads. Okay, we're just gonna holy water and then whip. Taken care of. Oh shit! I, I'm almost dead, so um. Yeah, we need that. We need that double. I think we have a whole screen also before the boss, so. Get the heart. Here we go. Die. Die. All right, good. Holy water is great against those crow enemies. We need that. Oh, we're, we're almost dead, so. Two more hits and we're dead, so. So, we're gonna get the uh, health, because uh, I wanna take more hits against the mummies, but the problem is, uh, because we're just gonna spam them with holy water. Yeah, we're just gonna spam them with holy water. The holy water is so OP. And two more hits and I would've been dead, so thank God I got the uh, health power up. The, ch the, the, what am I trying to say? The pork chop. So we're halfway through the game and we're 14 minutes in, but the problem is uh, the game's gonna step up and the game, we're gonna especially have some trouble with uh, stages five and six, however. I'll move on to a different game if I deem this too fast to beat. Because it is only six levels. I don't want to pick up another weapon because if I if I can get to this stage without dying a single time, let's just say um, I can have a oh shit. Okay, I jumped over the bat, but uh, if I can die without if I can get to this stage without dying a single time, I'll have a great time against Frankenstein. Let's just say. Get. No! I lost the holy water. I, also, I lost the triple shot. I would have benefited greatly with the uh, triple shot against the uh, Frankenstein. I need to get some ammo because I need. I think they. Have, I think there's another holy water in this level, but we're gonna have to get that. We have to last the end of the stage with it. Okay, get the holy water. Why do I keep... I could have sworn I jumped right there. Yeah, Castlevania, let's just say, is gonna take us... Is it gets really fucking hard towards the end of the game. It's made... Why, wait till we get to the fifth level. We just, um... We're on our last life, so next death, regardless of where we're at in the stage, is gonna go back to the beginning of the level. Gotten the through the first section of uh, stage four yet? It. Oh shit! I don't think I have enough hearts to beat Frankenstein. Let's just say, and we have a whole two more sections to get out of. So next step, this is really just to learn the stage. This is, there's gonna be birds dropping, giant birds dropping hunchbacks. This is a pretty annoying section. You have to know, you have to, you have to pretty much drop the hit with the hunchbacks as soon as possible, and not trip me, risk going for hearts like that. Yeah, I'm really trying to concentrate. Let's just say it'd be, it'd be nice if I still had the uh, three shot. There 
we go, and I got a double shot. We might have a shot against Frankenstein. Problem be the problem is next death is a game over, so we have to we either beat Frankenstein or go back to the beginning of the level. We get a but oh we got a triple shot. Alright, we get we got a pork chop also. Problem is I only have 14 hearts. Okay, 19 hearts. We need more hearts. And more daggers. Get. Oh, one more hit and we're dead against uh, Frankenstein. Okay, let's see this. There we go. Frankenstein is beaten. Thank God. And this is where the run's gonna especially start getting brutal, stage five. Because again, we have to keep a holy water up until the Grim Reaper. And we still, and even then, it's a crapshoot when that we beat him. Because starting with stage five, let's just say uh, enemies are gonna take, uh, are gonna do four damage, four pieces of damage. So let's just say. Stage five is especially when this game gets brutal. I got a, I got an extra chance. I'm really trying to concentrate. Why are we beating this like so fast? I'll just move on to a different game. Because if I can keep the holy water and the triple shot. Oh, I, I want to I want to do it. I want to I want to keep that holy water and the triple shot. Problem is, I don't know. Most of my runs don't make it past this level, so it's a crap. I don't really know stage six that well. Yeah, these red skeletons are like the dry bones of Mario 3. All right. Got through a checkpoint. If we can keep the holy water in the triple shot, we might have a chance against the Grim Reaper. Oh shit. Okay, we have to sacrifice. We have to go up the stairs. Oh no, I meant to duck. We're two hits away from dying. This is a problem. I meant to duck and I hit instead. And I almost lost all my hearts. Okay, we got more hearts. I really gotta concentrate right here because we gotta keep we gotta keep that triple shotter. Die. Well they don't stay dead, that's the problem. Die, go down the stairs. I think there's a I think there's a pork chop, but it's at the very end of the stage, so um All right, get that heart. You have to kind of jump in holy water and you'll... <laughs> we got a heart. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking because I have a great chance to get past the Grim Reaper. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. One more hit and we're dead, that's the problem. And we're almost at a checkpoint, so. If we can get that pork chop, it's at the end of this section. This is the last section, but um. Right. 
We're gonna do this. We're gonna get that pork chop. All right, here's the worst section. Before, right after these uh, skeletons this is the worst section, one of the worst sections in the game. It's the hall before the Grim Reaper because we have to take out knights. But if we have the triple shadow, we should be fine. Did the game just crash? The game just crashed. I was going to beat the Grim Reaper too. Oh, <laughs> The game didn't, the game couldn't handle the, f okay. Dear God, the game couldn't handle the fact that I was going to beat stage five. So, uh, uh, what do I do here? The game couldn't handle the fact that I was going to beat stage five. To be fair, I don't think I'm not sure if I would have beaten the Grim Reaper, but uh I guess we can do one more attempt. First we get no music in stage one, then the game just fucking crashes on stage five. Unfortunately, though, we have to start this from the beginning. Because <laughs> yeah, this is a this is like NES era, but uh now that I've gotten the hang back in Castlevania, I hope this is a better run than the first one at least. It's so fucking weird. I was gonna be I was gonna beat stage five. And then the game just fucking crashed. But though would I have beaten the Grim Reaper though? You never know. I had I had a triple shotter and the holy water, so. I shouldn't have jumped down. I am so mad that the uh, game crashed when I was about to beat stage five. Because most of my runs don't make it through that stage. Like I usually use the triple shotter that I get in stage four. Watch me make it to stage six and then this run crashes, but um. I don't even know what to say. I, it, it crashed. I was gonna beat the Grim Reaper because I would have just three shotted his ass and uh. But you can't rewrite history. I don't even know if I would have beaten the Grim Reaper because I had like less than half health. Let's just uh, take out the bat again. I cannot believe I have to play through the first four levels over again. First, that is first stage beaten. We're just two stages away from beating the game and what do you know, it fucking crashes. <laughs> I have to, I'm not gonna get over that. That is gonna get highlighted. Like, most times I don't beat Castlevania, all times I don't beat Castlevania because I fucking turn the game off, but it just fucking crashed. And keep in mind, I'm playing this off in Everdrive. Like, this is like, a, a flash cartridge. It's not like an original NES cartridge. I got the dagger, but I'm gonna get a better weapon. Let's just say I... Like I said, I said in the first run, do not get the dagger. 
All right, so in the first run, I died to a Medusa right here. Yeah, I didn't die to the Medusa. So this is already a better run. Well, you have to take out also the dying three times in stage four, so. Oh, I didn't know there was a pork chop there. So annoyed that we have to play through all these four levels again. Because if we had game over it in stage five and the game didn't crash, we, we could have just kept doing it till we beat it. Because that's what I did when I did it during COVID. And die instantly. So, yeah, those spike things, they kill you instantly. We have a bunch of hits to take out the Medusa head, which I cannot believe I'm, this whole second run is gonna be pissed off that I couldn't, be, that the game crashed during the first run. And watch, knowing my luck, the game's gonna crash again. All right, so turn this Medusa to stone. There we go. H2 beaten. I've been able to beat stage one and two twice. We've only been streaming for less. Oh, we could have, um. Who knows? I could have already beaten this, maybe. Actually, no, we wouldn't have. I don't know stage six very well because I've only done it once. Get the holy water. The holy water is gonna be the saving grace of the run. Wow, that uh, that hunchback just like disappeared. I'm not complaining. Let's see if we have a better. We almost died in stage three, so let's see if we have a better stage. We had a better stage two, so um. That's, that's already not a better stage three. We got an extra life. We, we're already having a better run this time than the first run. I think I've relearned these stages as well, let's just say. Okay, that is I get hit by a Medusa head. Oh, we're not grabbing that stopwatch. We're keeping the holy water. I'd rather freeze an enemy for one heart or for five. All right. Okay, let's get the double shot. All right, we have about the same amount of health here than we did the first run. I, I, it. Two more hits and we're dead. Cannot afford to lose the holy water also. Oh, we need that. I am really concentrating right now because I want to keep this three shot. Now, I am not 
confident I can beat them in two hits, so we're taking this, uh... No! That's already a worse run. But hey, at least I can beat them the lazy way, because you can just kneel on the platform, but I don't know if I would have done that. Just kneeled on the platform. Again, I hate that my run fucking crashed in the uh, fifth level, let's just say. dead. Do I, can I also remind you that my run fucking crashed when I was about to beat the Grim Reaper, let's just say. I did that too early. Run was already starting to get better, let's just say, and then just it took a sharp left, it took a sharp turn, let's just say. You're just uh, kneeling on the platform. Why did I get the fucking dagger? There we go. On to stage four, which we should have beaten like five minutes ago. Which we should have. We should have already been locked out of that stage. This isn't, this isn't even a good level, so I'm not happy I have to do this level again. At least, I at least know from the first run to jump over the bat, so... I get the holy water. No! Don't lose the holy water! Fucking get a game over. Some of these stages are, aren't even like the fun kind of hard. They're just annoying. It's honestly like, it's like I've had, I think I've had a worse time on this level than I had than I did stage five the first run. Like this is also a pretty horrible level. We just have to, uh, not get hit. All right. All right. Die. Die. All right. I'm getting hearts. Great. I. I. I'm dying. I hate when there's three on the screen at the same time. Cause they put, they put too many of these in this section. On. Get. I'm gonna fucking die. No, I'm not. Okay. There's gonna be... The problem is we have to um, survive against the next one because if we die here, we're fucking screwed. Or, Oh, 
the f how? What the fuck? I forgot in this section you take four hits and you're dead. Well, I'm not gonna be Frankenstein because I don't have the holy water. But well, I'm next. That's the game over. So yeah, I have to. Go, I'm pretty much gonna have to go back to the beginning of the level. Reclaim the holy water. Are there any weapons I can get? No, 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 there isn't. If only I still had some kind of holy water. Okay, I can't just duck. Okay, fuck, yes. I beat it without the holy water. Now we just have to claim the holy water in stage five and hopefully the game doesn't fucking crash again. I think that's actually the first time I've ever beaten Frankenstein without, without the holy water. Back at stage five, hopefully the game doesn't crash again. All right, we need this. We're gonna need those on those fucking knights. Oh shit. Already one hit now, die. Okay. Again, starting with uh, this level, four hits and you're dead. Oh shit. This game is so fucking like, Hectic. That was caught. This is the reason why. This is the reason I don't hold the NES hot highly in regard of the terms of consoles, even though I have an appreciation for it. See, like in NES games like this, there's six levels, yes, but like they're like they're like the hardest last two levels in like really video game history. Because like um, it was common. In, I've said before on my YouTube channel, it's, it was common in the NES era to make games really short but really fucking hard. That saved me. It up, I, my thumb slipped on up and that actually saved my ass. I think I'm just gonna get move backwards, so. Okay, that gave us uh that we that we broke even in terms of hearts. I need to get that holy I don't remember where the holy water is in this level. It sucks the game crashed the first time we did this area. I don't exactly remember where the holy water is in this level. I think we might have passed it to be honest. But if we can like keep the stopwatch on a on Grim Reaper, maybe we can have a shot. As if we keep getting, if we keep breaking even with hearts. If only we had some kind of holy water. If only we had some kind of holy water. Okay, we're getting some hearts because we need everything. And Grim Reaper, we're talking about one of the hardest bosses on the NES. All right. Ah. We can keep breaking even on hearts. We might have a shot against the Grim Reaper. I don't even know if this fucking thing works on the Grim Reaper, but it's worth a try because I, I did forget the. I think I did forget to get the holy water in this level. I know there's a holy water in this level, but uh, yeah, unfortunately our best bet to reclaim the holy water is if we game over. Oh, it's worth the shot. 
I don't even know if the stopwatch is even gonna work on the Grim Reaper because I think I think I might have tried it before to be honest. We're gonna do this. I don't even think this idea is gonna work because I don't think it works on the sickles. Well, here's our first shot at the Grim Reaper. Yeah, it does not work on the Grim Reaper. We are so fucked. This is why you need fucking holy water on this boss. I totally forgot the fucking stopwatch doesn't work on this asshole. I'm, I, I have to go, I have to game over and pretty much get the holy water. It's the only chance I have. Well, this, this maybe could work. All right, we got a, I guess, we're not gonna get enough hearts though, that's the problem. Game overing. We're really just trying to learn the Grim Reaper's pattern. Yeah, that's game over. I already don't like that I just took a hit on the first enemies. Again, can I remind you, I fucking, the game fucking crashed the first time I was on this level, so. What fucking bullshit? Like, the game knew I was gonna beat the level. So now we have to know one thing. Claim the holy water. Does it even, if we can get a whole a double, another double shot, like uh, we can tear some shit up with the Grim Reaper. Like I said, I've said this three different times in this stream. Most of my runs of this game do not go past the Grim Reaper for a reason. Cause like there's so much shit on the screen. Holy water, no holy water. I'm gonna light every fucking candle and I'm gonna get a holy water. I'm gonna get a holy water. I know you can get a holy water in this level. I think it might be this candle. Okay, no holy water, no holy water. We're gonna get the holy water. It's the only way we're gonna beat this level. No holy water, and like... Most the candles are up there. This game, does this level just not give a holy water and this is just my imagination? I could have sworn they give a holy water in this level. Oh shit, we're gonna, we are not gonna beat this game, let's just say. Even if I get the holy water, it's like a crap shoot if I even last the Grim Reaper. Fucking die.
All right, we're past this area. Can we get a holy water? I don't think... Did they not give out a holy water in this level? Because I could have sworn they do. And we, we're legit fucked if they don't give a holy water. I could have sworn I've always think there's something in those walls. Wait, it's only if nice. It's the double shell would be nice if we had some kind of holy water. Yeah, we're dead. We already take a hit. We're gonna game over on purpose because I could have sworn the holy water was back there. We're just gonna look it up. While I dump my remaining lies, I'm just gonna look this up. Castlevania stage five holy water. We're gonna look up where that holy water is. I, I know there's a holy water in this level. All right, um, we're looking at a, I'm looking at a map of the level. I All right. The holy water is Holy water is at the third candle in the first area. I had to literally look at a map, find out where the fucking holy water is. Not if we're taking hits like this, we're not gonna keep the holy water. All right, get the holy water. I am, I am gonna, for, I'm gonna deeply regret that we, uh, well, to be fair, maybe I won't regret that the game crashed when we were about to beat stage five because let's just say we know where the holy water is now. We have to pretty much game over if we uh, cannot beat death on the first try. We have to beat death on the first try, let's just say. Oh, there's no, there's no pork chop. We're just gonna plow through the rest of the game if we can beat stage five. I have a feeling we can beat stage five if we can just get a double, if we can get the double shot. I, I'm per, I've gotten pretty good at killing hunchbacks, let's just say. All right, there we go. We just gotta rack up on hearts. Avoid, maybe avoid the knights. Because the knights are particularly the problem where we keep getting, we keep, don't. Avoid this knight. Get. No! I did not mean to grab that. Well, we're gonna have to dump out our remaining lives again because we need the holy water. Time to dump out our remaining lives again. I forgot that fucking thing drops a... We have to pretty much dump our remaining lives again. It's so we can reclaim the holy water. Because the Holy War is our only chance to beat this level. Also, I've, I've gotten to the 60 follower mark, so uh, we're just going to edit the follower leaderboard while I dump out my, my main lives, let's just say. We're just going to edit the follower goal, because I, I know I hit 60 followers, I've been meaning to do that. All right, 
we're just ending the sorry i can't type your name right now but uh yeah thank you for the follow you get you are scum that took i took two fucking hats Like I said, most of my runs do not go past stage five because this stage is a pain in the fucking ass. Design the these uh if only I know who designed these levels because I don't know because mo this game's credits has the fake horror movie names which the developers did want to I think it's be I actually think it's because the developers wanted to keep themselves anonymous so just putting those fake horror movie names I'm gonna just uh I have to dump my remaining lives it's just like I keep getting that stupid axe and again I was about to beat this level and then it crashed I'm going on break Let's just say I am just going on break.
All right, so we're gonna try this one more time, and uh, we're gonna try this a few more times. If I can't beat stage five, I can't beat stage five. But um, we we dodged the hunchbacks, but um, I guess when like um. All right, holy water upgrade. All right, we got this. I really like, this has been a very chaotic stream because like I go from like about to beat stage five and then like, um, I go from about to beat stage five and then the game crashes to just struggling with stage five. But uh, that was like, uh, I don't know, it's like, um, Sometimes, not everyone, uh, unfortunately, like, not everyone has a good stream. Not, not every stream turns out great, let's just say. I appreciate everyone that's come out and watch. It's like, um... Maybe I should not have tried to stream Castlevania, a game I've only beaten once, let's just say. It's, it's just a bad choice of game. That when we get hit. All right, dodge that night. Make sure not to grab. Make sure that, oh, fuck. I forgot to climb down the stairs. What do we get when you uh, slack off like that? All right, get away. All right, good. We're gonna do this. We need to we need to re reposition ourselves. No, two knights. Oh shit, we're gonna fucking die. Do not do that again, unfortunately. When I went on intermission, I forgot how to do this level, unfortunately. There we go. If we can just get the pork chop, we might have a chance. If we can last, we get the pork chop, let's just say. We might have a chance. Right, there we go, yes. Three-shotter, yes! We're keeping the three-shotter. And the game's not gonna crash. The game crashes again, I'm ending the stream because I'm not going through those four levels again. There we go. We're gonna do this. No, 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 no. No! I'm fucking-
fucking done. I'm not playing this again. So, uh, yeah, this is over. I, I appreciate everyone that's attended, but uh, I cannot play any more of this game. So, 